These are my tools to create awesome PS4 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, we're going to use this awesome trainer program for the PS4 5.05 jailbroken consoles. And we're going to use this to basically modify and have fun with God of War 4, although there's other games that support it in this trainer. So let's go ahead and showcase how this works. In the video description, I have a link to where you can download the program. Just extract it to your desktop. When you run the program for the first time, it's going to ask you to update. So go ahead, update it, and then eventually you'll get to this kind of screen here. So on the left hand side is a list of all different games that are supported with this trainer. So if you click on God of War 4, this is what it's going to look like and this is how you can modify your stats later on. So the idea is first up here, make sure you select 5.05. Here you type in your PS4 IP address. And then the idea is, which we'll see later in this video tutorial, is run your user's guide. Go to 5.05, go to mirror plus hen. After that is done, rerun it, mirror plus hen and it's gonna say awaiting payload. Go ahead, click on this button to send the payload. You'll get a notification on the PS4 saying the payload was successfully sent. And then go ahead, run your God of War game. Once you're inside the game, click on attach. You'll get a notification that the attach process is complete. And then here you can go ahead and start messing around with your values, your, your settings, whatever. Click on set, and then it will basically modify the memory address and whatnot, and you'll have these modified stats, and you can save your game with these modified stats, and it's pretty cool. So I already beat the game, so I'm just sort of playing around with it for fun right now, and it is a lot of fun just playing around with the stats. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so let's do this. So on the PS4, let's log into my local account, and we're gonna run the user's guide. Just so you guys know, I'm using the Alazif latest method, a version along with the catch all process or method. So let's go 5.05, run mirror plus hen. Hopefully my PS4 doesn't shut down. It can do that sometimes when you run this option. All right, it didn't, great. Let's go back and rerun it again. Go to user's guide 5.05 and we'll rerun that mirror plus hen. And when you do that, we'll see a new screen that says awaiting payload, great. Now on your program, the trainer, go ahead and click that uh, button for sending the payload. Uh, my program is acting weird right now, so let me just restart the program and then we'll send the payload over. Once you have the payload sent over, you'll see a notification screen like about uh, now, great. And then once that is done, go ahead and run the God of War game and we're ready to have a lot of good time. So to help save some time um, and get to the meat and potatoes, what I will do is I'll edit this video so we'll load my save game basically, and then we'll uh, recontinue this video once I'm inside the actual story mode. All right, so we're back in the game here, and if we go to start. Why do I keep on saying start? I meant option, sorry, your inventory screen basically. Um, you can click on attach, and I've just done that. But you'll see that I already have modified my stats from before. So what I wanna do is uh, my program just crashed when I try to send some new stats over. So I'm gonna reattach the trainer back to uh, the PS4 here. So we'll see that attach method in a moment. All right, here it is, great. Now let's go ahead and modify the stats. So I wanna modify like the XP and the hex over. So I'm gonna change the zero and zero for both. And then pressing the options button. Now we'll see in this menu screen that they're both zero. So let's go back to my trainer program on the computer. And I'll modify everything to some high value for both items and then we're going to go back to this uh, inventory stats screen in a second here and we'll see that everything is modified to some ridiculously high number and that can go ahead and have some fun and purchase skills that i haven't purchased before and not worry about it so that's today's video game tutorial if you guys have any nitpicky questions leave a comment here on the youtube page i'll get back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching take care bye